Uh, my name is Nathan Montgomery, and last week we went over the basic functions of the Dynamics Pro system, uh, such as entering in contacts, uh, importing contacts, and we finished up by showing you how to set up a video email. Now with video email, you're going to need a YouTube account. Uh, before we get into setting up a YouTube account, Brian wanted me to walk you through um, and show you how to use the calendar right inside your Dynamics Pro. So what you'll first want to do is you want to go to mydynamicscrm.com forward slash login.aspx and then you're going to log in with your email and password. For my demo purposes, I'll just put in my username. Now, of course, if you uh, um, enter in your uh, email address and it's not working, just put forgot my password and uh, our system will send you a temporary password so you can log in. All right, so once you're logged in, you'll see the calendar up at top. Um, so you'll see it right here. And before I get into the calendar, the calendar is something that is time specific. So um, you're meeting a client at 10 a.m. or you're checking email from this time to this time. A to-do isn't really time sensitive, but it just has to be done that, that day. And these two kind of go hand in hand. So if you click on calendar, and we want to go to monthly. So we want to um, enter in here and we're gonna check voicemails and we're going to block off from 8.30 a.m. until 8.45. Whoops, that's p.m. We don't want to block off that long to check voicemail. So There we go. And uh, I'm going to just assume uh, that we're going to check this every weekday. Now, if you want to do it um, Saturday and Sunday, you can do it every day. Or if you're doing it Monday through Friday, you can just put every weekday. And then we're going to select the maximum amount of occurrences, which is 52. And then maybe you want to color code it down here. And we don't have to link appointment to contact or deal, so we're just going to go ahead and click on save. And then now it's going to go ahead and put it in your uh, schedule daily. And then maybe now you want to check emails. And we're going to do that from 8.45 a.m. to 9 a.m. And again, we're going to do it um, every weekday. 52 occurrences. And we're going to use the yellow and click Save. Let's just say that you accidentally messed up right there. And um, maybe you just did it. Uh, maybe you did it. Uh, actually, let me show you on this next one how to do this. So. Um, maybe from 9 to 9.30 a.m., you're going to work on active sales force. Now, you'll learn this in a later module, but and you're going to do this from 9 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. And let's just say you actually messed up and you put um, every day instead of every weekday, and then you did 52 occurrences. Whoops. 52 occurrences, and you're going to put this as purple, and then you're going to click Save. And you're like, oh, no, I didn't want to do that on Saturday. Now, the way that you delete this is you have to click on this, open it up, and then you'll see this, Delete All Recurrences. So go ahead and click on that, hit OK, and then now you go back in, and you could correct it. And select my time, 9 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. every weekday, 52, and save. All right, so now, now you have this uh, these little chunks throughout your day already blocked out. And let's just say that you go to the daily with to-dos, and you want to add a to-do over here. And let's just say that while you were checking your uh, voicemail, um, actually, let's go ahead and say that you were checking voicemail with Kathy Allen, okay? And, and she left you a voicemail, and she was just checking up on some things. And uh, or, or maybe you're, um, maybe someone from your office say, hey, we got a bunch of offers that are in. You need to set up a time with Kathy to, um, to sit down with her and go over the offers. 
Well, the good thing is you go into this to do right here, and if you click to do, and you go right here to add to do, to, to do, add to do, and then set up time with Kathy to review offers. And the due date is November 16th. Received offer, received three offers today. Call Kathy and the upcoming day. Kind of repetitive up here, but you put whatever the details are. And then that's, of course, going to be a phone call. So you're going to call Kathy and then click save. Now, the good thing is, is whenever you go up to your calendar and your da daily to dos, you can select the 16th. And then right here on the side, here's your to-do. So you're going to check voicemails from 8.30 to 8.45. Then check emails from 8.45 to 9. Then you're going to work on your active sales force. And then once you're done with all these, you can be like, all right, well, what do I got to do today? And when you click on this um, over here to the to-dos, it's going to take you right into Kathy's uh, contact card. And then uh, once you uh, completed this, all you have to do is hit complete, save. And then you'll notice with the calendar, it updates and it puts a slash through it letting you know that you've completed that to do. So pretty easy how to set up a calendar right inside of your uh, Dynamics Pro. It's actually already set up. All you have to do is learn to enter in information. So um, you're good to go there. So, All right. So that's pretty simple. Um, Make sure you start put inputting in your appointments on your calendar so you can start structuring your day out a little bit better. Uh, Brian's, Brian went over that with you a little bit. And uh, one little thing I want to let you know about the calendar before I uh, go into the YouTube is that you may get an error when you're using your calendar. And if you get an error, it's because your web browser is zoomed in or out. You want to make sure that when you're using your calendar that you have the zoom on 100%. Um, so basically up here in the top right-hand corner, if you click on this, you'll see that there's a zoom and if you go out or in sometimes that causes an error so make sure that's on 100% um, if you are using uh, Firefox then if you click on this menu up here at the top here it is right here zoom in and out so that's where you can find your zoom and of course if uh, you have Safari um, YouTube is the best reference. I mean, it really is for, for anything. It shows you step by step. So maybe, for instance, you want to how to zoom in on Safari. All right. How to zoom in and out. So this will if you if you basically go in here and, and ask what to do, then it'll have tons of video that shows you how to do certain things. All right. And if you have any questions about the calendar or you get an error and you can't figure it out with the Zoom part, just email support at mydynamicspro.com. So, all right. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you all how to set up a, um, a YouTube account because you'll notice if you go in, if you're in your Spider Pro and then you go to email templates and up here in the sample section of the email templates, if you click on it, you'll find video email template right here and if you click on it then it'll take it from the samples and it'll say right here email template has been copied to your account so if you scroll down to the bottom because it's in alphabetical order here's your video email template and if you click on it and then click on this change video it's going to say paste the YouTube link or YouTube video ID here so that's why you need to create your YouTube channel so whenever you uh, do a video then you're going to upload it to your YouTube account and then it's going to give you a link and then you could put it into uh, a video email template. So um, let's go ahead and get you uh, a YouTube account. And if you already have a YouTube account, um, but maybe you have some like, uh, I don't know, some videos of your kids with uh, piano recital or whatever it may be, you might want to start a new YouTube channel um, just for your marketing stuff. It's kind of better to keep church and state kind of separate on there. So um, that's what I would suggest if uh, you already have a YouTube account, but you really hasn't, haven't uh, dedicated it to your marketing. Let's go ahead and just uh, get a new YouTube account. And you can only have one YouTube account per Gmail account. So um, 
And the reason why you have to have a Gmail account is because Google owns YouTube. So the first thing that you want to do is go to YouTube.com. And then up here in the top right hand corner, you'll see sign in. And then this is going to take you to a sign in page. And if you, if you uh, are wanting to start a brand new YouTube channel, you go to this more options right here. And then here's a create account. So you're going to click on create account. All right. And then uh, I'm going to use my brother as the demo here. So whenever you tab through there, you'll notice you cannot create an account with this domain name, name gmail.com. So basically, you'll just have to put, I would like a new Gmail address. So you click on, I would like a new Gmail, and then it pre-fills the Gmail part, and then just go ahead and do that again. All right, so now you notice it doesn't give you an error, and now we're going to create a password. And then let me go ahead and put in his phone number here real quick. All right, then once you update that, it'll just say privacy and terms, and you scroll down to the bottom after you read it, and you hit I agree. Welcome. Your new email address is there it is. And thanks for creating a Google account. Use to subscribe to channels. So right now we want to continue to YouTube. All right. So now we're on the YouTube page. And um, at this point, what we want to do is we want to go to the new Gmail account. So if you open up a new tab up here by clicking on the plus or the tab area right here. And you'll, all you have to do is type in Gmail. Because now you're already logged in because you just created your account. X off there. And then you'll see Daniel from Google. And then it'll give you some uh, welcome to YouTube. Get the most out of YouTube. Um, uploading your uh, videos. Making playlists. You know, here's some more tips, your account, and then down here is, um, if you click on get, um, get it on Google Play or um, the App Store, then you go ahead and do the free download. Oops. There we go. And you'll want to download that on your phone. Or you just go right on your phone and click on the App Store or Google Play Store and click on and then uh, type in YouTube and then just upload it right there. You sign in with your uh, email and your password. And then it'll download the YouTube app directly onto your phone. It'll look like this little icon. And uh, that way, whenever you're, um, you could actually, you know, it ain't like you have to have a high definition video camera or anything. I mean, really, the phones nowadays with iPhone and Android phones like the Samsung Galaxy or the Note or whatever it may be, those phones have such great recording, high definition with their videos. Um, if I give you any kind of a um, any kind of tip, it would be whenever you're um, recording a video, make sure that your phone is turned sideways, horizontal, and not vertical up and down. And when it turns sideways, it'll it'll activate the high definition because um, if not, it'll have uh, lines. I don't know a good example. See if it has anything down through here. Uh, it doesn't really. But just make sure you turn your phone sideways. All right. So now, what you want to do is we want to go ahead and start customizing the YouTube channel a little bit. So if you go up here to the top right, you'll notice you have a little avatar up here. And if you click on it, you go to my channel, 
create creator studio. So let's just click on my channel. And it says use YouTube as Josh Headley or use a business or other name. So if I click on use a business or other name, we can put um, Lakeland Real Estate 101. Because you want to look at your YouTube channel as a resource. Um, so that's why I'm going to put Lakeland Real Estate 101 or Lakeland, uh, Lakeland Loans 101, whatever it may be. So now I'm going to hit Create. And it's just saying that uh, we need to verify the account. So let me go ahead and put his... And we'll just do a text message. And then they're going to text message you a verification code. So when you get that code, you're just going to type that in. So let me go ahead and put that over here. And hit continue. All right, perfect. So now, if you go up here to the top, click on the avatar, we're going to go to Creator Studio. So go ahead and click on the avatar and then Creator Studio. All right, so now you're at your dashboard. Uh, you have your video manager over here that if you click on this, uh, it'll show videos that you've uploaded, any playlist, um, that type of stuff. So let's go ahead and... Uh, Go back to the dashboard. And really at this point, you can just start uploading videos if you want. So, um, but let's go ahead and uh, customize this a little bit um, by going to the dashboard top left, uh, Creator Studio. So we're here. And then we're going to click on View Channel up here. And right here, uh, this is what people would see if they came to your YouTube channel. So uh, pretty boring right now, but we're going to go ahead and uh, add an image right here by clicking on the avatar. There's a little camera, so click on that. It says your channel icon comes up uh, comes from your Google account. Changes may take a few minutes to show on your channel. Um, a lot of times it takes more than a few minutes. It could take hours before they update it. So, But anyway, let's go ahead and click on edit. And then we're going to upload a photo. And I'm just going to use our company logo for this particular example. You can put your picture or your logo. Hit done. And now you can see your logos in there. All right, so if I click on this little box up here, these are your apps. And uh, I'm going to click on the YouTube icon. And then I'm going to click on the avatar again and go to Creator Studio. And if I click on View Channel again, and then Customize Channel. All right, so as I said before, um, this could take hours to show up. So don't worry if it's not showing up right now, it will show up later on. And then here's add channel art. So if you click on add channel art, you can either upload some photos from your computer. Um, your photos would be photos that you had if you had a prior account, but this is a brand new account, so there's nothing there. Or you could just use the gallery and use one of theirs uh, inside their gallery. So. Um, all right, so let's just say that I'm going to, actually, I'm going to upload a photo. So if I, if I chose to use this one, I could just click on this and then select. I'm going to upload a photo, and I'm just going to use this little keyboard right here just as an example. If, there we go. And then it says your channel art is going to look a, a, a bit different across devices. Here are some examples. So it kind of shows you, you know, what it looked like on desktop, TV, and mobile. Now, and then right here you can adjust the crop. So if you click on adjust the crop, this is what will be seen like on the mobile devices. 
this is what will be seen on like say um, iPads or a tablet and then this would be like a full screen TV or something like a smart TV or something so I'm gonna go ahead and hit select and you'll see that it's saving there it goes it says save alright so I'm gonna go ahead and click on actually you know what I'm gonna click on this video manager right here it's right above my avatar now that I got my picture in there that hasn't shown up yet and then we got the background or the channel art in the background so I'm gonna click on video manager alright so now now that you're at the video manager it shows your videos and your playlist so let me show you how to upload a video to your YouTube channel so let's just say that uh, um, give you a good example of a video to do so for instance uh, I have a friend that uh, he has a really good uh, YouTube channel that he created and uh, this is his channel art if you go down here, he has different videos about certain things. And one of them is buying versus renting. So this one's about 2 minutes and 12 seconds. Um, the best Many the American best, uh, dreams are built on the... The best practice to do is keep them under a minute and 30 seconds just because people's uh, attention span is so short. Uh, but you go over a minute and 30 seconds it's good to keep a video short because it keeps people on the videos and also too the way YouTube sees it is if they go from one video to another then they know that your content is relevant to what they're searching for so it's best to keep them short so it goes from one thing to another um, that always helps out quite a bit so alright so let me go back to our YouTube channel and we're going to go ahead and click on upload which is that little up button and then select files to upload or drag and drop videos here so right here is public unlisted private scheduled okay so if you have it private and then you send a video email with the link in there they're not going to be able to view it you may be able to view it because you're logged into your YouTube account. When you click on it, it'll you know see that you're logged in and it'll show you the video. But if you're wanting other people or your clients to see your videos, you want to make sure you keep us on public. So then I'm just going to click on this arrow right here, point to the top. And then here's a little short video. And I just chose this one because it's short and it, and it doesn't take very much time to upload a shorter video. So during this time while your video is uploading, um, you go ahead and start uh, putting the title in there. So, um, like for instance, on that one that he did, buy versus rent. The description, um, kind of cool. I like what I like what he does on his descriptions. Like if you click on this, uh, the show more under his descriptions, he's basically just took his script, what he's saying in his video, and he just pasted it right on the description. And then at the very um, the very end, he he included. Uh, you know his website, his uh, Facebook page, his Twitter, his Snapchat, that type of stuff. So um, it's good in the description to also include all that stuff too. So that'd be great to uh, do the description right there. So let's just go ahead and just copy this for right now, just as an example. So that's your script. Pop it in there, and then. You can put in your Facebook links, your website links down here. So, and the best thing to do is go to the actual website. So, um, let's just say that. Let me go back to his. There's Twitter. So, the best thing to do is go to the actual website and then uh, highlight this whole thing and then right click and copy. Go back. Whoops. And then you want to paste by right clicking and pasting all the different um, accounts. So you'd put your Facebook, your website, that type of thing. Now tags, tags are really, really good for finding stuff. So um, so buy buy versus rent. So real estate. 
would be a good tag. Uh, mortgage loans buy versus rent. Um, just basically anything that the video is about, go in there and tag away. Because the more tags that you have, the better that they can find you. Here's another place that you could actually put uh, put uh, public, unlisted, private. So if you, you know, it's just best to kind of go through here. And you could also add this to a playlist. Maybe uh, buy versus rent, you would have under, um, you know, first time home buyer. Because maybe you want to have a series that's set up. Um, so you want to have a playlist that has videos specific to first time home buyers. Um, playlists are great to have. So um, let's go ahead and once you type that in there, you just click it, and then we're going to create. All right. So now we added that to the first time home buyer playlist. All right. So once this is done processing, then you'll see these video thumbnails down here. Now the video thumbnails are the video thumbnails are what you'll see on the front of the video, just as a, a picture. So. Um, for instance, this video, that's the thumbnail. That's the thumbnail. So that, these are the thumbnails um, of whatever you select. All right, so this is almost done processing. It says about three seconds remaining. It's a very long three seconds. <laughs> We're almost finished. Just want this to generate a thumbnail. We got one second and we're pretty much done. So And then there's there's the uh, there's the link that you'll be using for your videos. All right, it says proce um, processing done. And now you'll notice it generates some thumbnails in here. So for this particular one, I'm going to select this thumbnail right here, and then I'm going to click on Publish. And now you are done. It, uh, it is in there. All right. So all these changes are saved right here. So I'm going to click on... this Creator Studio. So I clicked on the icon again, Creator Studio. And now I want to view my channel. And there we go. So now it's starting to look a little bit more like our friend Robbie's here when we go to his home page. There we go. So it's looking a lot more like that. Kind of toggle back and forth. Only thing is, is it's going to actually, um, this will show later on, like I said. So um, if you go to this about section, there's nothing in the about. So what we want to do is we want to um, go to customize channel again. And then you'll notice uh, up here at the very top, there's an about section. If you click on about, then will bring you to the channel description. So the channel description is basically, uh, you know, what your what your YouTube channel is about and why um, people should subscribe to your channel because you're a resource for them if they need you. Um, and then you're gonna you could add your business email right there. Select your country, and then also here, this is a great place to put links like your website, your Facebook, uh, your Twitter, things like that. So basically right here, that's where this will populate when you put your links right there. So it'll show up here in the top right hand corner. 
and that's all it is to uh, to upload in a video. Then if you go to my channel right here, it's going to take you to your channel and you click on videos. And then if you click on the video right here, it'll open it up. All right, I wanted to All right. And then so this is your video. And then up here you'll just grab this link or down here there's a little share button and you can just grab the link right here and hit copy okay so now you have this link copied and if you go back to your Dynamics Pro and you want to send out a video email um, first you want to create the email template so you'll go to email templates And then, of course, a little at the very beginning, we took this video email template, template and we clicked it. And when we did, it took it from the samples and imported it in. So I could see video email template right here. And we could put buy versus rent. All right, and then so the name again, we kind of went over this on the uh, module one, but the name is the name of the email template that you'll see in the list. The subject line is the uh, what will be in the subject line whenever you send it to your recipient, and then that will be in their email inbox. So before you go and change out the video, what you want to do is you want to scroll down here and click apply. And then we're going to want to change out the video right here. And right here it says video ID, paste a YouTube link or YouTube video ID here. Now, of course, what we did is we grabbed that right there after clicking on the share. That's how we got that. Right click, copy. So we'll delete whatever's in there and then we'll paste in the video that we just did. Click apply. That'll change it out. Buy versus rent. And then update email template. All right. And then you can just change it from video email to buy versus rent. You have your header in there automatically, your footer. You're going to go ahead and hit uh, save. Slide that out of the way. Slide this one out of the way. All right. So now if I wanted to send that to an individual contact, I'd go up here to the search and let's just go ahead and send it to myself. So once I did my search up here, now I click on my contact name. And looks like this email has not been opted in yet. So if you see this gray box right here, this just means that you need to opt my email in because if you try to send an email, system says this contact's email address is not opted in. So you're gonna have to click close. And then you could, you could actually opt them in by clicking on this envelope with the plus sign with the green around it. And I understand and agree. Continue. You absolutely have permission to send emails to this contact and add to opt-in list. Now, I went a little faster this time because uh, we've already showed you this on uh, the phase one, module one. So I went a little bit quicker. If, uh, if you need to review that uh, uh, phase one, module one uh, training, just email support at mydynamicspro.com. And in the subject line, just put something like, please send phase one, module one uh, video or training, it doesn't matter. All right, so now if I want to send this video email to myself, I'll click, click on this actions right here, send email. And then right here, you'll select the template. 
All right, there's all the different video emails. So there's the video email template, buy versus rent. And then there it is right there. And I'm gonna click send email. All right, there we go. And just waiting for that email to come through. There we go right there. Click to watch video. And there we go. And then we'll go back. I'm going to go to the home. Really, I should just refresh that page. And then if you go down here to the bottom, you can just click on this analytics tab. You can see what time the email was sent and then what time that the link was clicked. So you can tell that, uh, that the, the video was clicked on and that someone watched the video. So it's a good thing to see the analytics. So.